I don't know how wide we want to go. Bat Party doesn't have any field removal. Legion Angel's great. We counter the ability though. So hopefully they only had one in their deck and now three are now dead in their sideboard. Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Today, we'll be playing with a Selesnya at mid-range. It is tax season, baby. We're taxing on two. We're taxing on three. We're taxing on four. Uh, we're going to lock our opponents literally right out of the client, basically. <laughs> so having a lot of fun today in the top 500 Mythic with a brand new deck, breaking down the strategies, the synergies included within it, and then showcasing all of that in the gameplay footage so you get an in-depth understanding of exactly how it's meant to be piloted. Finally, wrapping up with our final thoughts, deck review, channel news, stuff like this. So get ready, buckle up, let's go. Make sure to like the video to help support me as a creator. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already yet and check out that link tree. Maybe become a Patreon member, jump into our Discord to partake in our many giveaways and contests, tournaments, and of the like. Cheers, enjoy, let's go. All right, here we are at Tax Season version one, a Selesnya mid-range deck that has uh, 60 cards in it. Best of one standard 2022 with a 2.6 average mana value in deck, 12 non-creatures, 25 uh, creatures. So you can see that the mid-range value is shifted there uh, past what would be considered um, an aggro deck or a control deck, right? It's where you have, you know, probably two thirds of your cards to creatures and one third uh, interaction, which is cool. 23 land in the deck, but don't worry, we have a couple MDFCs with an Emirius call to smooth that out, bringing us to 26, which is, you know, all right with me, should be fairly consistent. We have Yasharn. When it enters play, you can grab a forest and a plains from your library, put it into your hand. So, you know, grabbing those late lands, not really a problem for us. Uh, of course, Yasharn is a 4 4, and this is where the tax season ends. This is like your IRS audit agents here. Players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spells or activate abilities. This is beyond good. I'm sure you've you know seen it around recently. It shuts down the treasure ramp, you know, the sacrifice effects for the draws and you know the necrotic fumes. It's just, there's so much going on that Yasharn deals with effectively and efficiently right now. So it's uh, the sacrifice decks, the treasure decks, uh, it's gonna deal uh, a lot of pain to those pilots and it's a decent body as well right uh redan god of the worthy is a 2-3 with flying and vigilant snowlands your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped non-creatures uh that your opponents cast with mana value four or greater will cost two more to cast as well um so that's great right if it is a field wipe you know if it's a blood on the snow if it's a planeswalker a loth this is going to push it into the future so we don't have to deal with it as early as we typically would which sometimes can get you the win of course valkyria's protector shield on the backside for four mana a legendary artifact and if a source and opponent control would deal combat uh not even combat damage but damage to you in general uh, or a permanent you control prevent one of that damage which is pretty cool shuts down the goblin decks in a hurry and whenever you or another permanent you control becomes a target of a spell or an ability an opponent controls counter that spell unless uh, or ability unless this controller pays one which is basically just like automatic counter spells, draining their mana even more, right? So, you know, four copies of this in deck, we can get Redain in play. Lands in tapped, spells more expensive, sick tax, bro. And then we pull another copy, there's the shield, even more tax with those uh, automatic counters unless they're paying for it, which is absolutely deadly. And then we get into our turn two, uh, you know, taxation officer. Strict Proctor for two, a 1-3 with flying. Whenever a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability to trigger, counter that ability unless its controller pays two. Holy Toledo. This is, you know, such an all-star right now in the meta. Like, I know we're all kind of focused on Yasharn, shutting down the sack decks and the treasure decks because they're so annoying. But you know what is in not only sack decks and treasure decks, ETB effects in general? They're typically in every deck. Right? So you get very good value from the Proctor because it is stopping, you know, so many things. Uh, you know, Rangers class, no woofskies for you. You know what I mean? Um, Skyclave Apparition can't hit on three, has to hit on five to get value. Now, it's the little things like this, um, you know, the Elite Spellbinder. Also, not hitting 
effectively until turn five. If not, it's just a creature and who cares, right? I'll deal with that on my own as long as you're not getting additional value from that creature. And the list goes on and on and on, my friends. So Strict Proctor is my favorite card in this deck and I think we're gonna see a lot more of it in the future. Rounding out uh, our tax creatures. That's all we've got, right? We have a little bit of protection for those creatures. Wild Shape outpacing Snakeskin Veil right now, in my opinion. Not only is it effective as a defensive spell, but it also can be used to apply Trample to one of your creatures and be used offensively for lethal potentially, which is really, really cool. So you get to choose one. One three with Hexproof, one five with Reach, or a three three with Trample, all at instant speed for one. The Swarm Shambler, great, zero, zero, entering the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it becomes a target of a spell and opponent controls, create a one, one insect. And this is a stackable effect, which is really cool. Removal through Blizzard Brawl. If we have three snow permanents, our creature gets plus one and indestructible, and then we'll have our creature fight a creature we don't control. Pretty cool stuff. Sky, uh, sorry, the Luminarch Aspirant, a one, one, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on creature you control. That's great, right? We can buff up our Proctor, very, very cool stuff. Inscription of Abundance for two, we can kick it for an additional five, uh, three for a total of five, instant speed. Choose one, if we kick it, choose them all. Put two plus one, plus one counters on a creature. Target player gains X life, where X is equal to the greatest power among creatures they control. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. So, you know, it's like a really, really good blizzard brawl in my opinion. And then we've got the werewolf pack leader for uh, three, three pack tactics, attacking with six or greater power among the creatures we control, draw a card, and we can give it uh, base power and toughness of five, three and trample for four, if we want the, you know, that trample. Uh, we talked about redeem, we talked about Yasharn, Amiria's Call, late game, you know, providing that uh, value that we don't really have because we kind of top out, um, you know, with the taxing and this will help us win games, right? Create two four four white angels with vigilance and then all of our other creatures get indestructible until our next turn, uh, which is absolutely insane. And then of course, Vornclex as the top end, six, six, trample haste, double our counters, half our opponent's counters. Uh, I was mentioning our taxation offers and the head of the council slipped past us, right? Um, Vornclex, you know, is some of the best tax that you can do in the game. It's just so expensive and it wins games so quickly that you don't often notice the value that it provides you within those counters. Um, but again, halving our opponent's counters, doubling our counters, you know, um, the Swarm Shambler, the Blizzard Brawl. Actually, Blizzard Brawl is not a counter, scratch that. But the Shambler, the uh, Inscription can get those counters uh, and that's really, really nice as well, right? So uh, no sideboard, no learn, don't need it. Selesnia mid-range, cracking it up in the top 500 Mythic. I haven't played um, Mythic in days, so it's been a really nice break and it's felt great to get back into it. Uh, obviously our rank slipped a lot, but we're climbing back up, right? So enjoy today's gameplay footage. Make sure to like the video to help support. Subscribe to the channel because still at 35,000 subs, right around the corner, a complete rare D&D playset being given out to one of our subscribers. Join the Discord, put your name on the list if you haven't done so already, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Support by becoming a patron also available within the Discord. And more importantly, have a magical day. Enjoy today's gameplay footage. And we'll see you soon after this. All right, our opponent goes first. Land doesn't look bad. I mean, I, we're looking for that second green, but we can just protect the Proctor. Or we just go in with the pack leader and wait on the snow land. Uh, or the, the plains, I mean. Hmm. I think we'll keep it. It's not that bad. This is the first mythic match I've played in days. I've uh, not played since rank like 30. <laughs> <laughs> um, I misunderstood how the season worked. I'm going to be honest. I thought it was uh, the top 500 as of, you know, the update day, which was supposed to happen. And then they changed it. But I guess it was the first 500 the whole time, uh, which I had no idea. Uh, so I was just kind of chilling out the whole time, waiting. Um, and we're going to try to wait one more turn. Maybe we can get a organic plains or another forest. And that will open up our decision making. Perfect. So... ETBs are a thing. I would rather protect the wolf, but if we use this as a planes and then we wolf next turn, we'll just have a uh, you know a planes left over and then we won't be able to protect it. So I do think that we just kind of bite the bullet, go for wolf now. 
hopefully there's no removal you know next turn we have blizzard brawl uh to beat down if we need indestructible we have the haven if not i think we just play the pathway and now we've opened up that wild shape that we didn't have access to before to protect that werewolf um you know which is relatively important to us so we're just going to swing in Again, not using Blizzard Brawl because we want to, you know, keep this protection up. The protection is probably more important here. The Proctor is going to shut down, you know, things like that painter, those ETBs. Unless they pay for it. Oh, Goldilocks. Yikes. So we're not doing much against that this turn. Um, you know, we could block it, but we would die. <laughs> So that is what it is. No blocks. Down to 15 here. Ouch, skis. Yeah, so we can't even hit it, is the thing, right? Um,. It's out of our reach, quite literally. Only four land. Super early gold fan dragon. That we can't destroy because it's a 5-5. Five five. We could deal four damage to it. Next turn, we could kill it. We'll just play the Shambler. You know, nothing special. Ending our turn, we have Wild Shape still up. Here, Yasharn. Where are you, piggy? Yasharn's a pet, too. <laughs> Down to 10. Does not feel good. They have tons of treasure. What you got, Willis? They have 9 available mana. Which is pretty crazy, right? Oh, and they're just going to wipe the field with that, or what? Because they've got nothing in their graveyard, so I assume... Uh, and they get around it by paying the two. Perfect. Minus X, minus X. To three. What do we want to protect? I mean, you know, we're dead anyways. But... could protect a creature <laughs> kind of right um and as far as next turn goes i think it's a good game you know i don't don't think we're getting around that nine seven <laughs> this turn we're gonna try again though right i have faith you know it's just one game holy that's <laughs> like 400 ranks oh no not really i think we're like 300 376 it's like 200 and some ranks 220 and a little bit too... I don't even know. Math is hard. <laughs> Going first with uh, really bad land. I mean, all we would need is a forest, but... I just hate getting two havens in the opening hand. It's just like, stop it! Stop it right now! I like this hand. I'm going to keep it. We found our little piggy. Hey, Maya? Pigs are pets, too. <laughs> that is today's uh, motto. We don't really care about the land draw. It's okay. 
uh, to shut down ETBs unless you pay for it. It's the sack effect that we want to avoid. Right? There are ETBs, you know, it's not the end of the world. And this is going to be really cool if we can draw that land next turn. This is turn two tax, turn three tax, and what may work out to be uh, a turn four semi tax as well. Oh, we're going to get hit so hard, though, is the thing. We just need to inscription fight, get rid of the light scribe. Monk, er. Oh, they're gonna save it. Okay. 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 It must be, and we should still try to pull it from them, though, right? We want to know if they have something first, so we do it now. Because we don't want to attack into, you know, something crazy. We do get it. Alright. I'm going to swing in. With them both. For three, we have Vigilance, and then we play the Shambler. So we still have two defenders. Not bad. I think they're just trying to save it to get that turn, uh, like one turn kill, right? To get enough magecraft, enough protection. No blocks, it's only one damage until they do something, so I don't care. But we know they do have stuff, right? Alright, plus one, plus one counter, it's three, four. We get that land we want. You know, they're not sacrificing anything, so Yasharn's not uh, in a big rush. So we're going to leave uh, the piggy there. <laughs> Counters go on Redain. Keep the Shambler back to place our counter on it, as it can become a 2-2. Two -two. It's always better to put a counter on than to just attack with a 1-1. One -one. You know, you take one turn off to put a counter on, and now it takes you five less... You know, ten less turns to deal lethal, potentially, right? So the... More you can take those turns off for the counters, the better. Again, no blocks, don't care. Try to deal 16 damage with 3 mana. Bet you're close, but I don't think you can get there. Hit for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is quite a bit. This might be lethal. I think we might have screwed the pooch here. <laughs> Try to get lethal with 3 mana, bro. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, but still, they're falling a little a little shy. That's big damage though. Um, down to four. And do they have protection? We hit for four, five, six, seven, eight. We could buff by two. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10 we could hit for. Which is not enough. And if they have protection, I think they just won. Well, they need two sources of protection. They need protection from green and from white. And we're going to have to block. Right? No more playing it safe. We have two flyers. Um, so I want to keep that wild shape as a an offensive spell for the trample, I think. Right, we have two flyers. We have both green and white. This is fine. That's no protection. They're just going wide. The 3-4 cannot attack. Just the 4-4. No attacks. And, um, like, this is lethal, is it not? We get for four, five, six, seven, eight.
I guess we should attack with all, and then potentially we could convert something to the trample. Right, like we could give Visharn 3-3 with trample, and that's better than just converting this to a 3-3. I do believe. I mean, of course, we can put it on the flyer. They have no mana. I don't think it matters, but it's just like food for thought because it would be more damage than just converting that if we were trying to be, you know, like as effective as possible. Right? So instead of just zero, it's minus one. <laughs> Gotta juice those lemons for all they're worth. Going first, land looks uh, really, really nice. Do we want to tax them or do we want to wolf out? Heck, I say tax them. But we did just get a Yasharn. View battlefield, what's on the back side of this? I think they're doing it too. I never could say no to a proctor. Never mind a strict one. I wonder if they're playing Snowlands. Maybe if they're not playing Snowlands, we might be better off to go to the Wolf. Depending on what we pull. White. So it's Bant Party. We could... Double drop wolf's next turn. Hit for one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bant party's pretty nasty, though. Like, we're gonna have to be super duper careful this doesn't get out of hand. Hopefully this isn't a Bearers of Lajara. Okay. Okay. We cancelled two ETBs so far. Oh, no, we can't double summon wolf. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we could wolf shambler. I don't think Bant Party pays life or sacrifices ever. Oh, they sacrifice Linvala, right? It's like uh, sacrifice Linvala, give everything indestructible or hexproof. But that's not going to be relevant for a bit. And this could help us with the draw. And we still smash in. Right? Going pretty wide. I don't know how wide we want to go. Bat Party doesn't have any field removal. Legion Angel's great. We counter the ability, though. So hopefully they only had one in their deck, and now three are now dead in their sideboard. Um... And at this point... I feel like we still... Smash in with the wolf if we can. And it just gets through. That's not bad. Don't mind if I do, Hugh. Don't mind if I do. Basically, banking on them not having a removal, uh, like a reset button, a field wipe, something like this. Shutting down those ETBs through the Proctor. It's absolutely delicious. What a great time to be alive. And we're going to, of course, put the counter on the Shambler on our opponent's end step here and we'll put a stop so we don't forget this is nice that's going to be a full party for them so whenever they deal combat damage to us they draw a card also something gets plus one plus one and flying which is good very very good <laughs> that lean angel um could deal a lot of damage and draw a card here Holy Toledo. That's so much damage. I do not like that at all.
the Sentinel, so they get reached now too. Popping off, Bant Party is an amazing deck. If you're interested in it, check out my recent uploads. Um, you know, it's definitely something I've showcased. We're going all in. We want a double draw and inscription. No, but Bornclex with a land is pretty tasty. Let's see where the blocks lie. We could throw out Trample. <clears throat> I don't think that damage is too important to get through. Um, we're killing it anyways. Is the extra one damage worth five mana? No. Yusharn in play. We can't pay for it. End our turn. Swarm Shambler goes up. Next turn we have Bornclex. Maybe... We have a chance. Maybe. We top deck. A blizzard brawl for afterwards. <laughs> Kill that angel, right? Uh-oh. Search your library for a card. <laughs> Mana value four or less. Uh-oh. So that's pretty cool. This is a black card within a Bant Party build. Which I believe makes it a witch build. Uh, all four colors minus red. Witch slash your, I believe. Squad commander's good. Good, 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 good. Lots of tokens. Indestructible. They can pay the two, which is deadly, bro. Holy Toledos. So, can't be blocked on the Nimblo. Plus, everything gets indestructible. <laughs> uh oh. And they've got plenty of blockers, right? We're taking 8 damage here. Ducks. Down to 7. They draw, but they're tapped out. They have a 2-3 defending and a 4-3, so we push our Shambler to a 3-3. Three, three. Lots of defense, though, and I think we're just going to die on the return. Maybe we have enough juice? Or should I spread the damage more? Because we don't care about killing them because we're dead on the return anyways. From Shambler, or uh, Trap Finder Angel. I think we spread it, maybe, actually. So, they're going to block, let's say they take the 6 damage, right? Because it has trample. They have 5 defenders, so they block. Oh, and we have, so they would block everything. Because we have the 2 in the air. We would hit for 8, most likely. And they would, well no, we'd hit for 9 only. We're one behind. Like, we're one damage short. Right, because they have six defenders. That is close. That one damage came back to haunt us. Yeah. Without a doubt. And they could still block some damage from Vorinclex because it's only uh, one, two, three, four ground attackers. They have six. So technically they could stop all six of Vorinclex's damage as well. While still chump blocking the other grounders. And we would only really hit for three. So it's, it's just a good game for them, I believe. They give something else flying, and it gets buffed. 
Plus, they go super wide. I think they just are going to get it. <laughs> Secondary squad commander. Rock and roll. Mm. Good game. I don't think we have it. Not even close. Not even close. That party's no joke. That squad commander is very lit. Opponent goes first. I don't really mind uh, this hand. I think it's good. Maya's set up on her wheel. You may have noticed through some scrap paper on the edges there with a the little arrow. We're gonna make a Wheel of Fortune game, right? We're gonna find little things that are fun for the show and put them on the the thing. Maybe do a color code situation and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun, eh, Maya? The Wheel of Cat Fortune. <laughs> That's a turn one, turn two to be worried about. Oh my gosh, we don't like to see that. If they take. This pack leader, I'm gonna cry. We have two blizzard brawls though, so if it can survive. If it can survive! No. Ouch, bro. Why are you doing this to me? Why don't you cast a code spell cleric while you're at it? <laughs> no, they don't get it. This is still great though. Hit for five. Uh, we're behind. We are behind. Without a doubt. Push ourselves up. End our turn. Double Blizzard Brawl next turn. Hmm. <clears throat> Shoot. That's eight damage. All they need is flying next turn for lethal. basically gets there. So many creatures. So little removal. No attacks. Amiria's calls in tapped. And then we have... Force Vorinclex, but with that Legion Angel, that's the nail in the coffin. That's everything they could have ever dreamt for. Right, we're not getting this. Oh! Wow. Wow. I mean, we're still not getting it because they just have another one, but how lucky was that top deck? I've never lost a match where I've played three Blizzard Brawls before. Never once have I ever lost a match where I've played so many Blizzard Brawls. And they're popping off here too. Little demon. Good game. Wow, we're getting beat up hard today. Holy Toledos. Going first, land looks nice. The hand is pretty decent, right? We gotta redeem ourselves. I wanna finish top 500 today with this deck. Don't let me down, Arena! Don't let me down! <laughs> we'll be okay. Right, I was almost thinking it might be good to drop out of the top 1200 uh, since I've already qualified and give someone else a chance. You know what I mean? The more people who can get in on that, the better. There's no need to hog multiple entries when I only need one. Right? So the Proctor's pretty cool. It's going to stop things like the Skyclave Apparition from absolutely dominating us. Um, any other ETBs, it's going to take care of as well, unless they're paying for it. That's a Fortel. Hashtag Doomscar? Right? Pretty sure. Hey, 
Hey, what do I know, though? Um, we're gonna try to get in. Bingo, bango, bongo. Literally, a 2-4 is not bad. Like, that's pretty cool. 2-4 flyer. Paying life. Here's the Doom Scar. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you settle down. You settle down. So I think I seen CGB make a tweet uh, about playing with Yasharn. And I seen Doomscar in it. And they're playing Selesnya with the Doomscar, so I have to assume... Shit, we should have played our... Uh, our Snowland first. Oh well. We can still block and kill Yasharn. Rangers class in play. Proctor shuts it down unless they pay for it. They do not. And then they push it up to a level 2. Which will save it. We throw the counters on. We go to a... Th yeah, that's fine. And then we can Blizzard roll next turn. Just take care of that. And let's see how they like a little bit of their own medicine. Whoa! And I know CGB posted this. I've been working on this for weeks, you guys. Literally, if you've been on the stream, you see me playing with Yasharn. I think everybody's been playing with Yasharn, if I'm being honest, right? Um, it's just so good right now. Um, I got a little extra juice in there, though. I don't know who's playing with the Proctor. Maybe that's just me. I don't really, I don't really know. I didn't investigate. I just seen. Uh, I seen Doomscar, and I was like, oh no, we're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> this looks like a nice hit, man. Damage. Shambler stays in play, because I'm worried about another Doomscar. I think so, right? And then we have something, at least. Okay, they're going to gain some life here. Up to 8. They grab a land. 2 mana available. Another Professor. Cannot learn. Hey oh! Oh, that Proctor gets the win! <laughs> yeah! How many times did that Proctor shut down the ETB of, uh, you know, these creatures? So good. Rangers class, no. Professor, no. R Redane did really well, and Doomscar actually, like, I thought was gonna just get too much value off the start. I'm happy that we got back there. <laughs> I love it. All right, this is for all the marbles. Rank number 15. Oh my gosh. This is someone who has not quit playing from the very start. <laughs> we have the Proctor. Is it going to be good? Do we go for it? It could be a Wari's Disruption. And I don't want that. It could be Wari's Disruption, and I don't want that, so I'm going to avoid it. <laughs> right? We still are using both mana. Play a creature, sink the other into the Shambler. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Right? If they target a Shambler, you know, oh my gosh. To be a Galazeth, but again, it's that counter spell that I do not want. I'm gonna pass turn. They'd have to exile something like a Magma Opus for a Draconic Intervention. Like they need to discard before the intervention's a threat. The three shamblers mean single target removals. You know, ooh, <laughs> not the greatest option.
All right. One, two, three. It's the place to be. That's six damage. Mmm. Battle of Frost and Fire. No, 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 no. The Strict Proctor stops that. So they'd have to remove the Proctor on my turn right now. And then they'd have to battle. I was not thinking of that. Divide by zero bounces it. Bad news, bad bears. Okay, Battle of Frost and Fire could get dirty here. We may want to push our Shamblers up to fives. Right? They don't like the Proctor, indeed. And I think it probably is. The inscription could save us. Just take what we can get. Force them to counter it. End our turn. And we do have Inscription. To protect from any damage-based effects. Okay, so we should be safe this turn, even if it is a battle for Frost and Fire, which I don't know if they're running Dragon Fire with that, though. I, I want to default back to Prismari Dragons as my guess. I don't know. We've not seen much, so I don't know. I just don't know. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> um, you know, we'll also stop Galazes treasure production uh, as an ETB. And now that Proctor has the counters on it, the plus one, plus one counters, um, they can't single target anything without making three insects. It has to be a field wipe. 100% needs to be a field wipe. They don't like it. They do not like it. I think they had an answer if they removed it. I mean, five. This is nine damage. Oh, we should have... No, we don't have a target for Blizzard Brawl, though. They would have to... discard something of five mana here. You know, an Opus. One of those spells that makes a treasure. And then Draconic Intervention. And again, we'd already have this one damage if we took a turn off. That's a lot of insects. So they definitely do have the wipe. And they're gonna kill it again. Wow. And then here comes a field wipe. Frost and fire! Oh man, we almost got around it. We shut down that treasure. Okay, they scry. They can't sack that treasure, and we've got a 4-4 out. If they play a blocker, we've got, you know, lots of removal. I don't feel terrible. It better not be another frost, though. <laughs> frost and fire. Back to back. Uh, 
Uh, the Saga effect is an ETB. When it, as this Saga enters the battlefield and after you draw. So when it first enters, that's an ETB. Um, someone's claiming that Sagas are not ETBs, but they are. When they first enter, that's is a enter the battlefield token because you're already past your draw step. And then on your next turn, that token comes out on your draw step. This looks pretty tasty to us. How many counter spells do they have? The treasures are irrelevant. Oh, oh. <laughs> we get it with the first one. We get it with the first one, ladies and gentlemen. Hot dog. Pigs are pets too. Hey, oh, tax season version one doing the dirty, right? Um, I think that strict proctor is worth its weight in gold for two mana. Holy Toledo's, uh, especially now in a world where we don't have the hush bringer, right? I think that it it really does shine even more now. Um, you don't get anything from death effects, which hush bringer did stop. But, uh, you know, you get to stop more than just creatures, right? You get to stop those sagas and stuff um, from getting value. Like, you know, when they played that Rangers class and there's no wolf made, I was just like, yes. All of the uh, learn abilities, I guess those would st uh, stop from the other one as well. But um, you know, I just like the Proctor. I love the Proctor. I think it's really, really cool. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of it in the future. Yasharn, you know, he's doing the dirty. Uh, Redane has always been just like stopping snow decks in their tracks and Vorinclex as well. So, you know, turn two, turn three, turn four, turn six tax is pretty crazy. If you ask me, I had a lot of fun playing the deck. What did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a magical day. Make sure to like the video on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so to partake in our contest and giveaway. Sign up in the Discord. Link tree link will have the invite there. You can also become a patron there as well or check out any of the other goodies that we have to offer because there's a lot of it. And until next time, we'll see you soon.